Rule number one of growing a beard. Try not to look like a garbage pail kid. There you go. So, today, I'm going to address a topic that I've been getting a lot of comments about. Um, a lot of comments, a lot of questions on Tumblr. I've answered those questions on Tumblr, but they keep getting asked, so I'm gonna make a video, so now anytime anybody asks me a question about it, I can just send them a link to this video. I'm sorry, I don't have a cover out. Um, I've been working on a lot of stuff, uh, preparing for Zeldathon. I will link you to where you can watch Zeldathon. Um, I can link you to Thunderscott6267's channel, and I will link you to his Twitch channel as well, because we will be streaming um, a practice session on the 17th. Let's talk about uh, this topic, <clears throat> which is something that's very near and dear to my heart, which is beard care. I get a lot of questions about my beard. People are like, how long did it take for it to grow? Um, what do you do? How do you groom it? All that stuff. So I'm going to talk all about that. This is going to be 8-bit Brigadier. 8-bit Brigabeard. I'll talk about what I use, um, how to use it if you're new to being a beardsman. Or um, if you know somebody that could use these tips, then send, it, send, the, send this good old video to them. I have been growing my beard out since December 10th, and actually on this past Wednesday, I hit my halfway mark. It has been 26 weeks, so this is 26 weeks of growth. I have not touched it at all. Um, I haven't, I haven't uh, trimmed any part of my beard. I think I trimmed my mustache once, and then I felt really guilty, so I haven't touched my mustache since. I'll start going through some of the things. I have a little th table of things that I use to take care of my beard and to take care of everything to make it look nice. So I'll go through things. I'll just show you and tell you what I use them for and how to use them yourself. So the first thing that I have are combs and brushes. Combs and brushes, everybody. These are my standard combs and brushes. This is a wide tooth comb. Wide tooth comb. Let's see if I'm trying to see where. Yeah, why tooth comb? Um, it's just something that's good to use, like whenever you wake up or like right after you get out of the shower. Just kind of like run it through your beard, make sure that it is nice and oh god, see I have some knots. It's just like not free. Like don't don't like really tug it though. Just kind of like be gentle with it. And then this is a natural boar's hair brush. So whenever you, I think I got this for like a couple dollars at Walmart. It's like really cheap, I don't know. But it's actual boar's hair. Um, you can tell if it's real boar's hair because it smells weird. Um, yeah, this one doesn't smell so weird anymore because I've been using it so it smells like my beard oil. Um, but the natural boar's hair is pretty good. Um, that's what I like, it, it's nice. Um, if you buy one of these, it will shed for like the first week and then it'll, it won't really shed anymore. I was very alarmed whenever I got mine. I was like, wow, this is losing a lot of hair. I think I got an effective brush. Um, and then it quit shedding after like a week and it's still, still chugging. Um, this is also good to use after putting on beard oil. What I usually do is I comb my beard and then I put beard oil on it and then I brush it um, because it really helps get the beard oil all over your beard. This is a synthetic pores hair brush. Uh, that I use in the shower because it's not real hair so I don't have to worry about it. These are from Beard Brand um, as is a lot of my stuff. Um, this is the, I, I like the tea tree line, it's the silver line, um, but I like the tea tree smell, it smells good. It's like tea tree and peppermint, it's amazing. Beard wash, uh, whenever you use it you want to like make sure it gets, you want to like rub it through, it'll lather sort of. You want to concentrate it concentrate it mostly on the skin because it'll help the skin underneath like get rid of anything that's stuck there or whatever. And then the softener is what you want to concentrate that on the hairs because it'll help soften everything up, make it nice and pretty. 
whenever I use the wash, I just kind of go through with my fingertips and do that. And with the softener, I'll pat, not really pat it on, but I'll like get it, I'll rub it in my hands, and then I'll like pull through my hair. Not really pull, but like just get through. And then I'll use the synthetic Boris hairbrush to um, let it evenly spread out. This is something I got at Walmart, and then I have Beard Brand stuff. Um, I'm a big, I actually really like the Beard Brand products. Um, the only reason why I haven't been using this anymore, this is the Tea Tree Beard Oil, also the Silver Line, is because it's kind of pricey. It's like, it's like almost $30. It's like $26, unless they drop the price. I don't think they have, though. Um, it's like $30 for 30 milliliters. It's like one, one ounce for like 20 some dollars. And I just, I, if I had the money for it, I would totally keep buying it because it's great. But I've been using this Argan Oil uh, by OGX. I think I get it at Walmart, but it's like $5. I know some people that like to like lather beard oil on, but that can kind of, I don't think using a ton of it is very good. And I don't use it every day either. After I like wash my beard, I'll like put some on and then I'll put some on in between washes. So it'll be like, I wash my beard maybe once every five days and like, um, so I'll put on beard oil then, and then I'll put on beard oil like a couple days later, and then I won't put it on again until after I wash my beard again. Because, um, in the winter I use more because my face dries out and it helps keep moisture in your skin. In the summer, I, in, in spring, summer, and maybe even fall, I don't really use that much. But I, this is probably not the best thing for my beard, I should probably look into completely natural oil, pure argan oil, not like this crap that's for your hair, but um, whatever, I want to look into trying out uh, jojoba oil, um, you can get like decently sized bottles of that pure jojoba oil on Amazon, so I think I might try some of that out. Mustache wax, back in the day, before I owned mustache wax, I would use a combination of crew fiber and um, this hairspray that I have, um, which is really not good for facial hair at all. I think if you use this by itself, um, it would be fine, but a lot of people that I know will, instead of using something like that, they'll use like pomade, because it holds better. Um, but pomade or like this fiber stuff would be fine. Don't use, don't use hairspray on your facial hair. Just make sure you're not using it every day, um, because that can get messy. Like, I only wash my beard every, like, once every five days, because it doesn't need to be washed every day. Unless it gets really dirty, then I'll wash it. If I put in mustache wax right after I get out of, like, right after I wash my beard, then it stays in that whole entire week, because if you just keep caking it on, it's not good for the hair. But this is the mustache wax that I do use, and it is also tea tree, well, tea tree mustache wax from Beard Brand. This mustache wax is really nice. It's not great for styling, but it's great for just holding the hair away from your lips. I use it a lot. If I'm going out to eat somewhere, I'll use it. And if I'm, uh, if I'm going to play like a concert and I just don't want to worry about getting my mustache hair out of my face or if I'm like playing trumpet somewhere. Here are some vitamin supplements. I used Vitabeard for a while. Vitabeard is also pricey as hell. It's about $30 for 90 capsules. Currently I'm using Biotin, which I believe was $8 and I got 60 capsules of it. The only thing it's gonna do is like, if I'm lacking this specific vitamin that helps with like, um, keratin production, cause hair and nails are made of keratin, then uh, this will supplement that. So I just take one every day. But it's not like, I guess for some people, they're like, oh my God, it helped so much. It made everything grow. And like, maybe that's true. Maybe they just don't get a lot of that specific nutrient in their diet. But for me, I just use it as a backup like just in case I don't get that in my diet, because I have a pretty balanced diet, but just in case I don't get it that day, then I know I got it here. I don't use it so much for like making it grow fuller. I use it more so for keeping it strong. It doesn't really make it grow faster, at least I don't think it does. A lot of people think that it will, and maybe it will for some people, for me it doesn't. Um, my beard grows pretty fast, so it just makes it grow in healthier, which is something that I like. Uh, those are products that I use. And now I'll go through what I do. Every morning I use my wide tooth comb and I just, and I comb through it. And then I'll put on some of this beard oil, just like not even like a dime size, like nothing, like barely anything for, even for this amount of hair, like barely anything. And then I'll, if that is if I am using beard oil that day. 
and then I'll brush it. Most days it's just comb, brush, done. After I brush it, I'll use some mustache wax if I want to use mustache wax that day. My shower regimen is if I'm washing my beard that day, I'll like wash my hair, then I'll wash my beard, and then I'll wash the rest of my body, and then I'll put in conditioner, and then I'll put in beard softener, and then I spread the beard softener around with this. And then I usually get out of the shower, and then I go do something for 30 minutes with the conditioner and the softener in and then um, I'll come back and I'll wash everything out. Then I towel dry it. You have to be nice and gentle whenever you're just like pat it dry, don't like rub super hard. And then um, once it dries enough, I'll put just a little bit of beard oil in my beard and then I'll brush it through. And then that's pretty much it. And then I just take biotin every day. I make sure I'm not like pulling on specific parts of it. A lot of people do that. Um, I see a lot of people that have like little spots in their beard that's just like missing and I can tell like immediately that they're a polar. They just like sit there and pull at their beard. I like to stroke my beard because I'm a douchebag. I just like I just like to sit there and just kinda like it feels nice. It's nice to be proud of of the facial hair you have. The lineup of things that I currently use and the things that I use most often is this stuff. <laughs> Here you go. All of this. This is what I use. Um, not even this, not even the mustache wax. I don't use that that often, but it's nice to have. But this is what I use. I hope this helped all you little beauty kids. And don't forget to tune in to Zeldathon because I'm gonna be there. You might see me do some cool stuff. Bye.